It was an autumn afternoon, and Lola was staring out of her bedroom window, wondering why the trees always seemed to be staring at her. Like she'd done something wrong, or maybe she'd done something right. Lola could never tell which one it was. It felt like the trees were playing a game with her, only in this game, Lola didn't feel like she had any chance of winning. Yet she was still struggling to lose. Every moment of her day was spent gazing at the trees, wishing that they'd shed their leaves so that it could be winter again, and there would be no more trees, and no more reminders from an autumn that once was. Autumn had always been Lola's favourite season. Her parents had told her that it was in autumn when she had taken her first steps and spoken her first words. It was the season in which she was gifted her favourite childhood possession, a lavender teddy bear with a polka dotted bow sewn into its ear. It was the season in which she made her first friend. It was when she first learned how to ride a bike without its training wheels. And it was when she got her first perfect score on an exam. It was also when she met a boy and fell in love for the first time. Although she never felt like she was falling, she felt like she was flying, flying in love, soaring above the clouds and into the heavens. She felt she was flying faster than any other bird and she felt all the things she imagined a bird felt free, invincible, and loved. She imagined that the boy felt the same way, even though he never said it to her. He would dance in the sky. Sometimes he would lead, and she would follow him wherever he went. Sometimes she would lead, and he would struggle to keep up. But he would still follow her, and he would still dance with her spinning her around and around and around in the sky. Whenever they landed, she would wait for the wind to pick up again so that it would carry her to him and she would be in his arms once more. Eventually, autumn became winter. And as we all know, it is the time in which the birds go and seek shelter to rest. You can no longer see them flying in the sky. You find yourself wondering where they went. In winter, the boy stopped inviting Lola to dance in the clouds, and just like the birds, he vanished. And Lola was left wondering where he went. Now, which was Lola's least favourite season, whenever she leaves her bedroom, if she left her bedroom. The golden leaves of the glaring trees would peer it around her as she walked in the autumn breeze. The golden leaves would land beside her on the concrete, inviting her to pick them up, waiting for her to pick them up, to hold them close to her heart and to let her heart grieve. But Lola never does that, because doing that would mean that she would be acknowledging that the dance has stopped and that her feet are no longer floating above the ground. But she's not ready to walk again yet. Maybe next autumn.